In today's video, I am going to talk about how to enter data in Excel for data entry jobs. In data entry jobs, your primary responsibility is to input, update, or manage various types of information in computer system or databases. It could be using Excel, Google Sheets, or MS Excel. Okay, so to enter data in MS Excel, you have to write your text in these cells and then press tab or enter to go to the next cell. Okay, so let me tell you one thing that this is not gonna be a beginner's Excel course. I have uploaded a whole playlist of Excel beginner course. Go and watch that if you are an absolute beginner to Excel. So, uh, well, back to the topic. Here you need to write employee name in this cell. Here you can write department, hire date, employee ID. Okay, now format this a bit. Make the font white and fill blue. In the blue cell, here we will start typing employee names. Let's say Diane Ellie. Finance. Hire date is 1-3-2022. And employee ID is 3969. This is how you enter data in Excel. And like this, you need to write all the employee information in these cells. Let's say that your company has decided that they want to have an employee sheet and this is just the beginning of setting up that employee list. Now imagine how time consuming and painful it would be to enter all of this data for let's say um, 200 employees. Yes, you can do it the way I just showed you. You can just click on the appropriate cell. You can type, press tab and uh, then you can put your data doing it this way can lead to more mistakes but i'll show you an easier way to create data entry forms in excel and these forms make it so much easier to enter records or data into excel so let's look at how to set up an easy data entry form in excel data entry form make it super easy to enter data in your spreadsheets and there are fewer chances of making mistakes first step you have to take is to go up here to the quick access bar this is a handy bar where you can add additional tools and features that you want to be able to access easily and quickly that's why it's called the quick access toolbar i'm just gonna click here on this button this is the customized quick access toolbar button when you click that it gives you a list of some of the items that you can add to the quick access toolbar or take off the quick access toolbar and if you look toward the bottom of this pop-up menu there's an option for more commands and i am gonna click that it takes me to a list of popular excel commands but in this case what we are looking for is not necessarily popular so i am gonna go down to either all commands or commands not in the ribbon i will just pick commands not in the ribbon and i am looking for form that's what i'm looking that's what i'm trying to create a quick easy data entry form i am gonna browse down look for form there it is i click on it and if you notice here on the right side there are some items already in this list compare those to what's up above here on my quick access toolbar it's the same things the same features are listed here having selected form i just click add it's now added to this list and when i click on ok it will now be added to my quick access toolbar so there it is now that i have that button readily accessible to me i will be able to easily create a data entry form for my excel spreadsheet all right the next thing we need to do is take this data that i have here in my spreadsheet and turn it into a table for some reason that's essential for using these quick forms so how to turn this data into a table all i have to do is click somewhere inside the data how about here and then here in the home tab home ribbon in the style group there's a button that says format as a table now there's a faster way to do it once you have clicked anywhere in the data you can just hold the control key and press t for table and that will bring up this pop-up and here excel has tried to guess what my data consists of and in 99 percent of the cases it does it correctly you will notice that there are these little ants moving around my data and in most cases it gets it perfectly correct if not you may need to change some of the number here and there and you may need to click this and then outline what you want to be include or you might need to check or uncheck that my table has header but in this case my table does have headers so i will leave this checked and click ok let's see if it works it looks like it did 
I can tell that Excel has identified these items here as header. So I think that worked just fine. And now let's move on to the next step. At this point, I just want to have clicked somewhere in the table. So I will make sure that I have done that. I click and now I go up here to the quick access toolbar and click the form button. Now notice what it did. It has identified these records or rows in the table. It doesn't count the header row. It just skip it. But you will notice that record number one is Rian Ali here at the left. But all of the data and information related to Rian Ali is listed vertically in this case instead of horizontally. Now, there are a couple of reasons why this is helpful. One of them is let's say you have a spreadsheet with like 14 or 15 columns. You wouldn't want to have to click this bar and drag to the right and type in the data or to tab over up to 14 times in order to enter in your data. That would be so much time consuming. It's kind of hectic to do it that way. So that's why you might want to do what I'm showing here by creating an easy data entry form. Now, if I click find next, look what it does. It goes to the next row and it's numbering those rows here at the top right. So I can click through those. Now, let's say it's time to resume entering data for the employees of this company. I can click new. Notice it say new record. I just click and next to name, I will type the next employee's name. Robert Bliss. If I tap the tab, it does move to the next data entry cell, department and hiring date. I can add the department. Let's say Robert is in the marketing field and hiring date is now you can just type that in the way you typically would maybe with the day then the month and the year and the employee id is 4969 now let's press enter on the keyboard it insert the record into my spreadsheet and give me a new blank form if i close and you can see that there's robert bliss department and hiring date and employee id okay jumping back into the form is super easy i just go up here on the quick access toolbar form and i am right back in there i want to enter a new employee and i simply resume so if you do a lot of data entry work you, you are gonna find yourself really preferring these easy data entry forms that you can create and use in excel and it's really easy to do while we are here in this form tool i want to point out some of other features and buttons that we have so we have looked already at new notice that there's also delete so let's say i have entered this data and this is a mistake obviously i don't know how i made that one but i can just click delete and the displayed record will be deleted that's exactly what i want so i click ok and it's gone we also have a find previous button so that goes from the current record to the previous you can also find next that advances to higher numbers and then we have a criteria button and a restore button let's look at the restore button first for that i have entered this data so let's say i have this much data and we have a person named um jamescom and let's say that the company is considering changing his department from customer service to sales so i can just type that in and by pressing enter it will be changed but what if i realize that that was a mistake I can just click restore and it goes right back to the way it was before I started changing the data in this form. So as long as you don't click close or tap enter on the keyboard, everything that you type here is easy to undo just by clicking the restore button. Okay, so now there's one button left to look at besides close and that is criteria. The way criteria work is um, you click it and then you enter criteria into this form. And then Excel will see if it can find one or more of the record here in this spreadsheet that matched the criteria. So for example, I would really like to find someone who has a name that include the word Paul and the higher date doesn't really matter. The employee ID doesn't really matter, but the department should be communications. All right, so I have Paul and communications. At this point, all I have to do is tap enter on the keyboard and look, I found Paul in communications. So I hope that you see how useful an Excel data entry form can be. You can take your data entry task that might be too horizontal and it can make it vertical. And notice that you can scroll. So it could be 10, 15, 20 different bits of data that you are entering in and it makes them vertical, not horizontal. And it gives you these tools at the right to also help you to search within the table that you have created.
थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग आई होप यू फाउंड दिस ट्यूटोरियल टू बी हेल्पफुल इफ यू डिड प्लीज क्लिक द लाइक बटन बिलो एंड डेफिनेटली डू सब्सक्राइब टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल फॉर मोर वीडियोज अबाउट एक्सेल एंड अदर टूल्स आई रिसेंटली अपलोडेड अ ट्यूटोरियल ऑन नोशन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू लर्न हाउ टू यूज नोशन एंड हाउ टू मैनेज योर डेली टास्क और इवन मैनेज योर स्मॉल बिजनेस प्लीज गो एंड वॉच माई नोशन प्ले लिस्ट एंड आई सी यू नेक्स्ट टाइम